feast that is inspired by fall and also vegan month of food. We're making a ton of food and over the next couple weeks I'm going to feature these videos of these delicious recipes. And first we're going to get started with an apple chutney that's going to go on top of a seitan walnut stuffed collard green. Sort of a Thanksgiving-esque theme, but you know, you can eat it anytime. So I have four cups of apples here. I have golden raisins, ginger, agave, apple juice. I'm also going to do a cup of celery. And I'm just going to cook this down for about 45 minutes. And I also put a pinch of salt, which is going to help the apples release their juices. I'm going to make seitan walnut stuffed collard greens. I'm using this seitan, which you can get at any natural food store, and I've blended it up in a food processor. I'm going to saute my vegetables first, and I'm using a cast iron skillet. If you don't have a cast iron skillet, I definitely suggest getting one. So I've like about one carrot stalk and one small carrot and a pinch of salt. I also already um, boiled about a half of a sweet potato. Well, it depends on what size, about a cup of a sweet potato. I boiled this and cooked it already because it takes longer to cook if you saute it. So I went ahead and just boiled it. And I'll add that towards the end. For this, we're gonna use a little bit of thyme like I said, this is kind of a Thanksgiving-esque theme, so we're using Thanksgiving spices like sage and thyme. We're also using something that you may not have used before, which is mirin. Mirin is a Japanese cooking wine, and it's kind of sweet, and it's really great to add just like you would cook with regular wine, it's nice to add mirin to saute creamy vegetables. So here's my seitan. I just uh, blended it up in a food processor. And then we're going to add about a half a cup of walnuts and about a fourth cup of cranberries, dried cranberries. If you can get unsweetened, that's the best, but it's hard to find unsweetened. Ooh. And then I'm going to add just a dash of mirror. So I'm going to let this saute for about five to minutes. Then I'm going to add my sweet potatoes, and then we will stuff some collard greens with the filling. And now I'm going to show you how to cook the collard greens while this is sautéing. So I have a big pot of water boiling. Here's a big beautiful collard green, and what I did is I just cut some of the stalk out. So what I want to do is I want to lightly blanch these in the boiling water. So basically you just drop it in. You don't need a lot, it doesn't need to be a full pot of water, it can just be a little bit. So I just want to lightly cook it because it's going to bake for about 20 minutes later. So it's really green and vibrant. So I don't want to cook it too long. You can see how, how bright the color is. And then once this is done, we will roll them, we'll fill them, roll them, and then we're going to bake them for a little bit. It does taste like Thanksgiving stuffing. Yeah. Wow. But we're going to put it in a collard leaf and roll it up, so wow. it's going to be healthy and delicious and beautiful. Mm. You will impress your family that with this. That is going to be beautiful. Look at all the colors. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Okay. So, so what do I do? Just put a little bit. Um, we'll put it a little bit right here. Is this enough? More. Start with that. 